I'm not sure there's anything you need to be more prepared for than when a spill happens on your property. Because when a spill happens, you're working against time. You want to implement your containment plan, check the impact to employee safety, your production, and also the environment. And then you're quickly making a call to your spill cleanup partner, hoping they can respond very quickly. And in freezing temperatures, like it was when I shot this video, you can have a nightmare of a cleanup problem. And that's having your spill cleanup partner arrive with a high-powered vacuum truck, like the one you see here, except that it can't do what it's actually supposed to do. It can't suck up any material because there's a huge piece of ice frozen in the inlet pipe. And that creates all kinds of waste and risks to your time, money, and production. So I sought out one of our guys, John Miro, who you see here, who's responded to numerous spill cleanup projects, and he's a technical genius, to explain how even in freezing temperatures we avoid showing up on site with a frozen vacuum truck. And what's amazing is that it's quite simple, but cleanup contractors who are inexperienced with cold weather might easily overlook it. So I'll let John explain it from here. Back there is the feed tube, and it goes up inside of the tank up higher, about two-thirds, three-quarters high. And when you have a load that's above that, it tends to slosh and fill that tube. So then that whole tube fills up with liquid, and if you're driving down the road when it's this cold out, that entire tube will freeze up. So we clear the valve. I only had a thousand gallons this time, so none of it's going to flow back into the tube. But before you leave the job, you put vacuum and you clear that tube so that that doesn't freeze up. Now he came back here and he threw some salt in. So if there's a moral to the story, I think it would be look to partner with a spill cleanup contractor that knows how to use their equipment and not just those perfect conditions, but also in those terrible, awful, uh, worst case scenario conditions. Ideally, before you sign their spill contractor agreement. And if you believe it's time to review your spill contingency plan, know that we are poised and we're ready to help you and we truly hope to talk to you soon.